Chapter Two, The Magic Helmet. He's wearing a hat! Madison May squealed as though she were three again. Albert was too curious to say a word. He started slowly toward the woodchuck, Madison May behind. The woodchuck's eyes grew wide. Who ever heard of a woodchuck wearing a hat? Albert said aloud to the air. In fact, it's a helmet and bulletproof at that, the woodchuck replied, reaching up and giving it a pat. Both of them jumped a foot in surprise. What did he say? Madison could scarcely believe her eyes or ears. He can talk. He talked. Did you hear that? Albert gasped. Of course I can talk, said the woodchuck, crossing his arms on his chest. And my name is not he. Most call me Samuel P. Hopbottom, or Sammy, if you please. Samuel P. Hopbottom, Albert repeated. And the P is for Phil, after my cousin from Puxatawney, Sammy P. explained. The famous Pennsylvania groundhog who comes out on Groundhog Day? asked Madison May. Sammy nodded. Groundhog, woodchuck, marmot, land beaver, earth pig, people have all sorts of names for us, and Phil gets all the glory. Sammy chewed once and spit out some husk. Since when can you talk? Albert wanted to know. Right after, after I was born, Sammy told him. When could you talk? Albert looked taken aback. So why are you wearing a hat? I already told you it isn't a hat. It's a helmet. You sure are slow, he reached up to check on the strap. Why then a helmet, Madison cut in. She could see an argument coming. That man up the hill keeps on shooting, Sammy said. One day he will surely shoot me dead. I need some protection from a farmer with a gun. He's so angry. The man on the hill? That's our grandfather, said Madison May. She thought, he is angry, it's true. Then came awkward silence. Somebody coughed, a paper rustled. Albert tied his shoe. So, your grandfather, you say, well, uh, at any rate, he's not particularly nice. Grandpa Pete is too nice, Albert said protectively. Don't say anything mean about Grandpa. Tell him to stop shooting at me then. Sammy peered nervously up the hill. His name is Grandpa? The woodchuck asked, looking doubtful. His name, Albert said, is Pete Case the Third. There are three of them? Sammy recoiled in horror. Oh, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Albert scowled fiercely. He'd already heard said once today by a man in the general store that Grandpa Pace was losing his mind along with his farm. He didn't need to hear it from a woodchuck, too. As far as he was concerned, Grandpa was doing just fine. They stared at each other with dreadful looks. It is not terrible, Albert said. Grandpa is the greatest man in the world. The greatest shot, you mean, which is all the more reason for this here helmet. If I want to see the other side of the road... He only shoots because you make nasty holes in the ground and eat up his whole garden, Albert accused. <sighs> I am deeply sorry about you being shot at, Madison May told him politely. I'll make it a point to tell Grandpa that we spoke to you about it. Maybe he can stop. There's not enough leeway in maybe, especially for us woodchucks. He surveyed the fields. Anyway, it's a start. We live here too, you see. So do the farmers, said Albert. Your point is clear, Sammy noted. Now, if you'll please excuse, I need to try to make it home before the bullets hit me. He tightened the strap on what passed for a chin to make sure that his helmet was on. Then, giving a paw thumbs up, he dashed across the road, his belly scouring pebbles and dust. They both look, looked on amazed. That was magical. Madison May pointed out. Albert shook his head no, but his sister was convinced. That was merely strange, Albert said. Then he called out, wait! Sammy poked out his head from behind a hill of milkweed. What is it? 
Where did you get that helmet? Madison, hopeful, caught Sammy's eye. She had wanted to ask the same thing. Tilda Pinkerton gave it to me, Sammy told them. My very own magic helmet. Madison turned to her brother. Albert didn't say a word, just shrugged. Tilda Pinkerton makes learning fun and bright at her magic hat shop. Wonderful website. Tilda Pinkerton.